So to start with, let's take a quick look around the FCCS interface to find the components that make up the FCCS solution. First of all, if we go into the overview section, FCCS does sit on top of SBase. And we can see this very quickly. There's a few clues, but we can see there's a tab here for cubes, and we've got a consolidation cube and a rates cube. And notice if I linger on the type, it tells me that I'm working with a block storage option. So we're working with BSO cubes. So we're working basically with SBase cubes. So FCCS sits on top of SBase. If we look at the dimensions, we can see that the account is the dense dimension and all the other dimensions are sparse. So FCCS sits on top of SBase. FCCS also has Close Manager or Task Manager as it's been renamed. So we can go into Task Manager. So in here we can create templates and tasks and create schedules for our user to work with. The other area we talked about was Supplemental Data Manager. In Supplemental Data Manager, we can see a whole number of data sets. These can be columns or rows which build up the forms of the supplemental data forms. We've also got data management or FDM EE Lite as we referred to it. So from our navigator menu, we can go to data management and that'll open in a separate window. And if you've used FDM EE before, you'll recognize once we get to the data load workbench, the all important fish where we can import, validate and export. So at the data load workbench, we can set the point of view and we can load our data via import, gets validated and then we can export it into FCCS. Smart view is a common component across all Oracle products. If you haven't got smart view installed, that's something you'll need to do rather quickly. So from the downloads, you'll notice you can install smart view and there are some smart view add ons or extensions as we call them, which we also recommend you install. So smart view is also a component which complements the FCCS toolset. In FCCS, we have a whole number of predefined dashboards complementing the close overview and the compliance overview and the financial dashboards can all be customized. We have migration capability. This is using lifecycle management technology where we can move artifacts around from one environment to another. Finally, we mentioned on the slide that we have access to the reporting studio. Well, here we can access the reporting web studio. All the financial reports will sit in the report section under financial reports. And you do still have access to the explore repository. So if you do create reports and you think about creating books and batches, you can still do that in the explore repository.